this lesson, we are going to talk about checklists. So checklists are quite a nice feature to make sure your engineers don't forget certain steps. So how can you make a checklist? Well, you can make a checklist in a new ticket. So when I click on this plus sign right here, I can add a checklist as you can see in the middle of this ticket. And I can add a new checklist item if I want to just make my own checklist right now in this ticket. Or I can add from library if I want to use a pre-made checklist. So for example, if I want a SaaS customer onboarding, I can just use this checklist and I can preview which steps are in this checklist or if I might want to use another checklist like this one. When I want to use a certain checklist, so for example, SaaS customer onboarding, I can just click save and close. And as you can see, the checklists get filled in this ticket. So where can you um, uh, save and edit checklists? Well, you can save a certain checklist from a ticket, save to library by this button, or in the system, if you go to the hamburger menu right here in the top left corner and click on admin, we can expand on application-wide shared features and click on checklists right here to see which checklists are already in the system and uh, what kind of checklist it is. So is it available for only a ticket or is it available for tasks and tickets? Or maybe some checklists should be available only for tasks. And on the right hand side here, you can see if a checklist is active or not. And you can also fill in a description. So if you want to make a new checklist just for, for the library, we can edit right here. We can give it a name. So let's say we want to make a test checklist right now. I can select if, if it should be available for tasks and tickets, for just tasks, just tickets, or even for opportunities for, uh, for our colleagues from sales. So let's say I want to make it available for only a task right now. I can select here this button if it should be active. I can give it a description. And I can add checklist items right here. So I will say test one. I can click on this button to add another checklist item. So let's say test two. And I can also use this hamburger menu to add an item below or above. So if I want to add an item above, I can just say test 1.5. And I can also copy one. So if I copy this one, you will see it's test two and it says copy right here. And you can also associate a checklist item with a knowledge base article, which is quite handy. So if we have something in the knowledge base, like right here, I might want to select an article. And as you can see, it will show up right here with the bookmark. And if I click on the bookmark, it will just open the knowledge base article right here. And I can see the article, as you can see, I will close this screen. And if I think if I check this, uh, this important box right here, it means there will be uh, an exclamation mark behind the checklist and we can set widgets to see which tickets were open or were closed with the important mark on. And um, we can set workflow rules with the important checkbox. So it's quite a handy feature and I suggest you uh, play with it a little bit. So I can click save and close. And as you can see, I have a uh, checklist right here, um, but I might want to edit it. So I can go to the hamburger menu right here, click on edit. And instead of test to copy, which I forgot I had, I want to make it test three. Or I might want to make it test zero and use the buttons right here to drag it up to the top and make sure the checklist is in the right order. I can save and close it again. And this checklist, as you can see, I can only use within a task. So um, yeah, there you have it. Checklists um, in, in just a few minutes.